one of the really cool features of Bitwig is that we can actually use our computer keyboard here just like we would a MIDI keyboard and to use it very easy all you have to do is press the caps lock key now if I don't press the caps lock key then we can use some shortcuts which we will not have access to when caps lock is turned on so just be aware of that if caps lock is on pretty cool right so that's really all you need to know in this video but we're going to go on and I'm going to show this in a little more detail so keep watching so what you're hearing right now is this EDM kit so I'll just double click there we already have this loaded up so again I don't have caps lock on so I'll turn it on and now I hit a well, we're not hearing anything that's because our Z and X are our octave keys now you can see when I hit a here or s you can see we have activity down here but we don't have any samples loaded so we'll just hit X that takes us up an octave pretty cool so we have what would be C and C sharp D D sharp E and then nothing here because if you don't know anything about a keyboard there is no black key or E sharp between E and F so we just go between E and then F and then it's our sharp G sharp A sharp there's B and then again no sharp there so right to C so we have a full octave here and then the C sharp, D, all the way up to D sharp on the next octave there. And then that's it. Okay. So we have more than a full octave that we can use there. Pretty cool, right? So of course we can record with this. You don't need to have a MIDI keyboard with you. Something like this is great if you're just like on a surface or something and you want to pound out your ideas wherever you're at. Pretty cool. So, you know, we can record. Let's just record a little bit here. And of course we can play that back. Pretty cool. All right, so let's, let me just show this a little bit more. We'll go here to Massive, which we have right here. And of course this works the exact same way as it did with our drums. So this here is not gonna work well with chords. And then to remember our octaves, so hit X there going up an octave pretty cool so let me, let me show this with FM8 we'll bring this up here so this will work with your VSTs too as well as your Bitwig plugins so we can see this better here with FM8 since we have this keyboard so I hit Z to go down an octave so there's our low C. Now I can hit Z again. You can hear how much lower that is. Right? Hit it again. Hit it again. We're off the keyboard scale here, but we'll hit X a few times. See where our C is right here. Hit X again. Now we're playing this C. X again. X again. All right, so that is how that works. And of course you can record that. Okay, so that pretty much wraps this up, but let's head over to the keyboard just so I can show you how a keyboard is structured, just so hopefully you'll understand how our keyboard here is structured exactly the same way. Now here we are over at the MIDI keyboard and we can see how our keys are laid out here. So C, there's our sharp D and our sharp E and no black key in between there, just like our keyboard. Key that doesn't exist. Okay, so this is just like our keyboard is laid out. And right here's our B. So. Right there. And we can go up an octave, don't forget that. Go up another octave. Exactly the same notes. And we have a, of course, we have our uh, transpose button over here for our MIDI keyboard, which we have on our keyboard here, our, our, our uh, computer keyboard, as again, is the Z and the X keys, okay? So just remember those things. You can play exactly the same thing. 
kind of hard when I got a camera and a microphone here and holding the keyboard, but you can play exactly the same thing on your computer keyboard, which again is great if you're using just something like a laptop or a Surface. You can still pound out your ideas. You can still record your ideas on the go anywhere you're at. So of course we can record this. Let me just hit record real quick. And we'll record this. Drop an octave. All right, so not a stellar performance by any means, but that is how you use your computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard to input notes, input drums, input you know, any sort of plugin, uh, MIDI based plugin, you know, like FM8, any sort of synthesizer, any sort of plugin uh, you can play with your computer keyboard, a really great feature here in Bitwig. So go check that out. Again, all you gotta do to turn it on is that caps lock key. That's all you gotta do. And remember to turn it off if you wanna use, you know, your shortcuts. Okay.